Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Sonali Wright. Uh, before we get started today, I just want to thank you all for being here. And if you feel that I've earned your like and subscribe, please do so. Uh, share, you know, let's let's try to, I'm still growing this channel and I'm so grateful for where I am. I'm over 300 people. I remember when I had one. I know who the first one was. <laughs> so um, welcome and thank you again for being here. I'll just jump back into it. If you don't know, you're new here. For the most part, my content um, surrounds working for a corporation called Military Sea Lift Command. It's um, under the um, Department of Navy umbrella. And I am a sailor, okay? <laughs> so I've been doing it for about 11 years. So most of this content is geared towards that and experiences that you know, I've experienced and expressed and uh, those of my coworkers and friends, okay? So um, let's just get into what's recently happened, shall we? I think I mentioned on a video that I was released from a ship um, back in like February, right? So I don't want to put you too far in my business, but um, as far as my medical stuff, but I had some challenges um, and I did have a, an injury that needed to be tended to. Here's the thing. Um, when you are on medical leave, okay, uh, you, there's, there's paperwork, there's a process for that, okay? So I was submitting paperwork for the medical leave based on the process that I've known about for again, 11 years. Now be clear, a lot of things do change and there was a change that I wasn't aware of, okay? So with that, I submitted the paperwork. Back in the day, it used to take three days for them to get back to you. Well, it takes 10 now, <laughs> okay? And with the 10, they'll tell you, you know, what your status is, what's going on, if it's accepted, if, it's, if it isn't and why. So after the 10 day mark, I was contacted and someone was like, yo, you're still connected to the Trenton, right? And I was like, mm, no, I've been off that ship since February. <laughs> um, well, and then the e it was an email. So I was, I'm reading it and I'm like, no, I'm not. And they told me to give it to the, the person on the ship. Didn't make any sense. Didn't understand what the heck was going on. Then I realized somebody didn't put me in the system correctly. Well, I still continue to go to my appointments and do my obligations on this side to make sure that I'm healthy and prepared to return if that, you know, is the case. So I submitted it, paid more paperwork. All right, this, I turned this in and I turned that in. Finally, someone called me and it was like, listen, you are not in the system correctly. Where exactly are you? So I was like, I'm home, you know, they was like, and how long have you been home? And I told them how long they was like, what? exactly so apparently I am a displaced lost sailor okay so once the person from medical called and told me what was going on I said because I I am one position but I've been selling in another position for quite a while and I was like well who am I assigned to I don't know who to contact and he said well based on you know what I see in the system you are assigned to this person okay fine so my next point of action would be to contact the person that I'm assigned right so I contact that person and I didn't get a response. So that was probably like on a Thursday or Friday of last week. So I was like, well, you know, I'll give them through the week. Obviously the weekend, everybody, they're home, everyone's home. I was like, well, I'll give them to like Tuesday, right? So I contact them. Um, I let Tuesday get by and then I waited to today. Today is a Wednesday. Uh, and um, I, uh, call, I sent an email, I didn't get a response. So then I called the CSC. CSC stands for the CIVMI Support Center. Um, that is where if you are trying to get into MSC, meaning you've gone through some sort of process, you correspond with them. But if you are a current mariner and you need to get in contact with someone, an admin, meaning a float, generally you contact them too, provided you don't have any higher up emails. Now, usually I just go all the way up to the top because I don't like to play a whole lot of games because some of these people know what they're doing. And I try to give grace when I can. So I was in the spirit of giving grace, I just went ahead. I was like, all right, I'll contact the CSC as opposed to going all the way up the chain of command because I don't owe them a courtesy, but I was being generous in my opinion. Okay. <sighs> so finally I get an email and the guy was like, well, your permanent position is this. I know that. And you should have contacted this person. I didn't know that. That part I didn't know because again, sometimes I've been off, you know, home and I'm still connected to the position that I've been selling vice is my permanent position which means a lot of times I don't know who does what because they switch people around a lot that's common 
So he had an attitude, honey. I don't know what what happened to him, who, who pissed in his cornflakes or whatever, but he was upset, really angry. He was like, well, I didn't respond last week because I was on bereavement. You want to talk to me about bereavement? So my response was, well, my sympathy for your loss. Um, I exited the ship for the same reason, bereavement. Grief is a powerful thing, but you know that. Um, and then I continued because he was like, you should have contacted this person or this entity and this entity. I said, I did. Contacting the CSC also can, they'll put you on hold for 30 minutes. I'm not sitting on the phone for 30, nothing. Listening to an operator. So I hung up and called twice, didn't get to a real person. All right, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep doing with medical stuff because I have other things that I could do with my life. You know, there are things in my actual day to day that requires my undivided attention and it doesn't allow me to sit on a phone for 30 minutes it's not, or more. And then sometimes you try to leave a message and you can't even leave a message on their inbox, on their phone. Well, today wasn't like that. Today I was actually able to leave a message and that's what I did, which is probably why he responded to my email. Okay. Because when you contact the Sigmar Support Center um, and they make an email on your behalf, your detailer is required to respond in like, I think 24 to 48 hours, something like that. So they got it. They have to get back to you. And you'll, if you ever get in this outfit, you'll understand why that's even in place because nine times out of 10, your detailer, if they can't ignore you, they will. It just is what it is. Um, so, all right. So fast forward to the end of the day. Um, he's like, well, let's try to untangle this web you've created. I created, sir, before I got off the ship, I put in for leave. So my first month was accounted for. My next month, I turned in medical paperwork stating that I was not fit for duty. You all didn't put me in the system properly. So you all don't have, you know, your ducks in a row. One thing that I did learn that I did not know is that, well, in the past, MSC, if you had medical appointments, you could submit that and they wouldn't touch you because you had to go get these appointments done. Now they're trying to say, and they said this has happened since last March. I didn't get fit for duty into June of last year. So my job was on the chopping block. They tried to fire me. So I wasn't made privy to any of the new medical um, pro processes and protocols until last week. Okay. So um, they were upset, a little bit irritated. And he's like, well, let me see these th th things. So I turned in, I said, okay. So I turned in the, what's called, it's called a leave chit, leave chit. Turned in my leave chit, um, my medical stuff. I probably need to resubmit it because I don't know if I'm in a system, you know, like I'm supposed to be. So I'll try it again to try to reconcile what's going on. But the bottom line is sometimes they lose people at sea. And sometimes they lose people in the system altogether. And I was still attached to a ship that not only I haven't been on in months, but the ship isn't even operational. It's somewhere being repaired, okay? So the fact that you didn't know, and my position is never on the ship doing repair. Any, The only person from the, I'm from, in the supply department, the only people in supply department that stay attached to ships is usually the JSO. Everybody else is out of there unless they, they um, re-rate you to something else because there's no need to have some SUs or cooks anywhere in the building or even stores you don't need them there like once they secure you know the galley in their areas there's no need to have food service anywhere near it so there's no reason for me to be still attached to a ship <laughs> only time that that situation um changed is when covid first hit and everybody had to stay where they were even if you had um especially if you had like repairs there's something on my nose is that glitter it's a little, I'm too cute today. Anyway, so I am dealing with that challenge. Um, my only real problem, I'm not going to say problem, my only real issue is how you talk to people. That email was a little bit aggressive and I really wish I had the bandwidth to not respond Because when you respond, it doesn't matter how polite you put it, how courteous and kind you may try to word things. The fact that you do respond and you actually have a legitimate rebuttal probably hurts your chances. So should I ever return to work outside of my, you know, my other medical stuff? Like I already told y'all I got PTSD and, um, you know, a lot of other challenges. Um, 
we'll see what happens. I guarantee you they're probably going to bar me from doing the job that I've been doing for three years. Um, and that's okay. I don't care anymore. You can't put that, you can't hold that over my head. You can take the job, but you can't take my skill set. And they'll need me way before I need them. Trust me. If you ever go out into this um, this arena called Military Sea Lift Command and you eat that food, <laughs> you will beg people that know how to cook to do it. So I'm not worried about that. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I just want to give you a little insight that you can actually get lost in paperwork. Um, the system in which they could not accurately find me is called an SF-50. I don't have the, um, the capability to put myself, I can't write that wrong, right? So technically speaking, and I want to throw this at you before I leave. Technically speaking, I didn't have to say shit. I could have just let it be. I just would have been attached to the Trenton indefinitely, okay? Nobody would have been the wiser for months. And it really would have been more beneficial for me to shut the about it than to bring it to the forefront and say, hey, this is what's going on. I don't, you know, I'm not health, you know, healthy enough to sell. This is why, right? Because what the only alternative is one day, which I doubt they would have ever figured it out because we have a lot of um, challenged people <laughs> in the office. They would have never figured it out. I could have kept it to myself. I could have used the system. I know people that's been on workman's comp for three years. Okay, or that's been on leave forever. This one guy called to see how he could rejoin MSC and in his and because he's been gone that long. And when they checked the system, all he had to do was check in the pool. He had been gone for years. So it's not like the system is perfect because it's not. It's very much so imperfect, and we all know about it. So for them to try to put it on me, no, 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 no. I told them in an email, you, I don't have the capacity to change me in a system. I've done everything that I can do on my end to make sure that I am in alignment. Alignment. So next couple of days would be a telltale sign. I remember all that courtesy that I told you that I was giving, that's done now, uh, <laughs> that's done. And I will be extending no more grace to anybody for any reason. Um, moving forward, should something change, um, especially something negative negatively towards me i will make it my business to send it all the way up i have the information i know who to speak to i know how to communicate with them and it seems to be you know more beneficial to go that way because it's been times where they didn't pay me accurately for months and i've given them several attempts like five different attempts to get the, the money that was owed to me and you know what happened Send it up the chain, got my money in two days. So what I was waiting for for months came to me in two days. And that's because of processing. Or I had to correspond with them and I literally one day emailed them at probably like 8.10. At 8.20, I had a response that I was looking for for weeks. You know what I mean? And at that, sometimes it just behooves you to know the chain of command, learn it. If you're interested in coming here, go on the, go on the website, MSC. I mean, sealovecommand.com and find out who is in charge and learn your chain of command based on your department. To be honest, the worst department is supply. We have the most challenges. It is. Deck, well, I don't know. Deck pretty bad too. But at least deck, like right, wrong sometimes, but they have gripes. The only department that I've seen that doesn't really cut up too much is communications and engine. But for the most part, the more challenges that's like cattiness, uh, afloat, and um, shore side is supply. <laughs> I don't know what they do to those people. I don't know what happens. I'm not sure what's in the blood. But for some reason, it's been a disconnect for quite some time, and we can't seem to get it together. Um, not not me, them. But anyway, um, if you are new here, again, welcome. Sorry that you get to see the drama, but it's good that you see it because you need to know what could potentially happen to you, especially if you come in to this outfit, right? Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. <sighs> I am going to um, skedaddle and um, I'll talk to you next video. Thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day if you see it in daytime and a phenomenal night if you're seeing this at nighttime. I'm Sonali Ray and I'll see you next time. Bye.